Hello and welcome back. Currently I'm sitting on a chair with two very high cushions so I can be this much in the frame because the camera is set very high. Anyways, so welcome to another video. Um, this week is a collab with a friend of mine, Lydia. She does videos about her life in Japan because she's doing a year of school in Japan, which is super cool. I'll link her down below. And we've been friends for around two years. We both did competitive shooting and that's where I met her two summers ago. And today we're doing a video on my channel called 10 things I actually learned in high school. And over on her channel, we're doing eight mindset tips to ensure success. So tip number one is keep this mindset. If it's not going to impact you in 10 years, don't let it impact you now. I was very scared to start my vlog and my YouTube channel at first because I was just so scared of walking the halls at school and people knowing that I had these platforms and of what people might think. But honestly, it's brought me so many opportunities and I do not regret it at all. So if there's something you want to do, honestly, there's no better time than now. And if other people's opinions aren't gonna matter in 10 years, then don't let them impact you now. So tip number two is popularity does not matter, but self-growth and self-awareness does. So instead of trying to spend all your time and effort to please a certain group of people, Fill your life with people who truly make you happy and also try to get to know yourself because knowing your strengths, your attributes, your skills will help so much later on when you're applying for university, also when you're applying for jobs and all that. So tip number three is to be friends with your teachers. And this doesn't mean that you have to be super, super close with every single teacher you have, but at least find one or two that you can get along with. This is really great because number one, later on you'll need recommendation letters for university and for any jobs you apply to. And number two, they honestly have so much to share like outside of their classes. So I'm really close with one of my previous teachers and aside from just advice in the class, he's honestly given me like wise life advice and like how to follow your passions and how to like make your passions into a reality. And it's honestly, some of the best advice I've ever received. So tip number four is to utilize your resources because when are you going to get another chance like this? Like free counseling? For the majority of high school, I've actually avoided going to my school counselor just because there's so much negative stigma around going to counselor and like talking about your problems. But this year, I decided to pay her a visit and that turned into weekly talking sessions. And it's actually helped so, so much. She's helped me apply for scholarships and she's given me practical advice that I can just put straight into my life. And also, it's just so comforting knowing that you have someone who's a trained professional to do this there for you. The fifth and final tip for me is go into your classes with the intention to learn. So many times when I walk into a class, the question on my mind is how can I get the grade I need without putting in all of my time and effort? And in those classes, I find myself not learning as much as well as oftentimes not doing as well just because all my effort is focused on cracking the teacher's marking habits. And I find that when I go into a class with the intention to actually take away something and learn something from that class, that's when I perform the best as well as actually learn something. Hello, my name is Lydia. I am um, 17 years old, born and raised in Ontario, Canada. Karen and I met a couple years ago at a cadets marksmanship camp. Um, we were tent mates and we got along really well and we just have stayed in touch ever since. I'm currently studying at the United World College of Isaac, Japan, and so I make a lot of videos about what it's like to be an international student, what a UWC is, um, and that kind of stuff. The first thing that I learned from school is that no one really knows what they're doing and that everyone is human and everyone makes mistakes and everyone's just trying their best. I think for the longest time I had this idea that teachers and that people that were older than me had everything figured out and you know they just they knew exactly what was going on with their lives and that's not true um no one really knows what they're doing everyone's 
constantly making mistakes, constantly trying their best. And I think that it's really important to be understanding and aware of that. My head of school at Isaac is amazing. And I think that watching him um, lead us through this time. And earlier in the year, we had a, a typhoon, which is like a hurricane and it like tore through campus and we didn't have power for a week and it was like super intense. If you want to learn more, I have a video on my channel. Um, and so he, he had to lead us through that and through now a global pandemic and just seeing him manage all of these, these big issues with a bunch of teenagers from around the world really gave me some perspective because realizing that people in positions of authority aren't necessarily experts, they don't necessarily have all of their crap together and they're just trying to figure things out as they go really helped me be a lot more understanding uh, and just a lot more aware of what was going on in my teachers' lives. And it also helped me build some compassion and um, be more patient with them, <laughs> I guess. The next thing I learned is that um, in order to be successful, know what is being expected of you. And I don't just mean do the bare minimum and then get the grades, but I mean if there's an assignment, um, you know, really carefully read through the assignment, okay, what does it need, what is it looking for, and do that. Don't spend hours on something that you aren't being asked to do just because you think it's important. And that doesn't just apply to school, it applies to life in general. Um, know what is being asked of you and just worry about doing that. Don't kill yourself over things that you don't need to worry about. The next thing I learned is that it's okay to fail, and it's really, really okay to fail. And by fail, I don't mean you get a B on a project. I mean, um, maybe you fail a test, or maybe you get in a fight with your friend and you say something you really shouldn't, or maybe you try to organize an event and no one shows up. All of those things have happened to me, uh, and that's totally okay. I think that, you know, when you try to be successful, too often it can turn into being a perfectionist, which in some ways pushes you, but in many more ways it's just really unhealthy and unrealistic to set up that kind of expectation for yourself. Learn from school is take risks and push yourself out of your comfort zone. And I think that that's one of these things that you hear a million times but you never actually do. Um, because it makes sense, right? Like our comfort zone is where we're happy, we don't want to leave that. But it's so important that you do. There's so many opportunities that I took at school um, that scared me and I'm so glad I took them because they really taught me a lot. And there's even more opportunities that I didn't take because I was too scared. I wish I had signed up for the conference that happened in Hiroshima. I wish I played volleyball more at the start of the year. I wish that I talked to those people that scared me. There's so, so, so many things that I wish I had done that I didn't do because I was scared to do them. Um, so you really have to constantly, every day, be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone um, and then find those opportunities that change your life. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this video that I learned from school is that you can find happiness wherever you are and it's really important to do that. Um, you know, so often we think that there's one right path for us, one path that will find happiness. You know, there's one college out there that you should go to because that's a college where you're going to meet your future husband and all your best friends and you're going to ace your classes. Um, there's one club at your school that's just there waiting for you to be a part of it. You know, you think that there's some destiny that you're meant to fulfill that will make you happy. But it's so important to realize that that isn't true and that you can find happiness wherever you go. And that is up to you to find that. Don't be that person that's just moping around all the time. If you're not happy somewhere, don't be like, oh, this school sucks. These people suck. All of this sucks. If you aren't happy with something, turn it into something you can like. You know, find the little things that you enjoy. Put work into it. Um, change your attitude towards whatever you're doing to find happiness because that is how you find true success. If you're doing something that you enjoy, then you are so much more likely to succeed at it than if you're just forcing yourself to do something you don't like. So really find happiness in everything you're doing um, and you'll be a much more successful and a much happier person. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you took away something from this video. Big thank you to Lydia for this collab. Definitely check out her channel. I'll have it linked below. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!